Welcome to episode 400 and was it 48? 48. Of the Geeks for the Wind podcast. The podcast from the Geeks for the Wind.com where we cover all things geeky. I'm your host, William, and I'm joined by my co host, Stuart. Known across the internet as Casual Terror. And this week we're doing what we've been watching. Stuart's got a lot. So. I, I got I got some. <laughs> I got Been more than me. I've had to scrape to, you know, like to pull out some topics, but let's start with you. What you got? What do I got? Well, uh, I actually forgot to bring these over in OBS. Ah! That's funny. Um, I have been watching um, the Halo series. Oh, on Paramount Plus. So, um, it's okay. It's it's not as terrible as I think people were expecting it to be. I think it's it, it's okay. Um, I, let's see, we're three episodes in. Um, so. But um Yeah, it's it's all right. Which is a glowing glowing review. It's all right. right? <laughs> like Um I it, honestly have no interest in this. Like I kind of didn't re- either and then I was like, "Uh why not?" Um so, yeah. Um, it, it's it's just kind of weird because I'm like, I I I'm used to seeing, uh, I, like, if you would have done done this, like, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, it would have been something amazing. But now it's like, oh, okay, I've I've seen some pretty good damn cosplays of, you know, Spartan armor. I've seen somebody build a war- warthog. So seeing one in, in the show, uh, you know, it's not that much to say, Oh my God, it's a warthog. No. Cause I've actually seen, seen one before. Yeah. Like they had Microsoft had a, the one like, Yeah. Why is my phone going? Um, it's I I don't know how else to say it. It's kind of it's it. The whole thing is like it it it's pre. Um. It's it's pre the games. It's kind of like. It's it's before the fall of Reach. You know, a lot of this takes place. You know. On on reach, actually. Um. So um, but it, it they're definitely kind of fo- focusing a lot, and I don't know if the, a lot of fans will like like this or not that they're doing it this way. Uh, they're focusing a lot on, you know, how bad the Spartan program actually was. You know how you know how how Halsey is a terrible, terrible person. Like that, that is kind of a focus. Like the first three episodes, that's a focus. Is how bad she uh, of a person she is. Uh, Halsey being the one who you know created this, created the, the Spartans, and all that. Um, and you know they kidnapped the children from their planet. And then left clones of those children on the planet with, with 
Ill with illnesses that then they later die. So then the parents don't wonder what happened to their children. Um, now that part hasn't come into play, but it's 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 being he heavily it it started to kind of show up. Um. And then there's the, there's a side story of uh, that happen that's happening on planet Madrigal. I I I just have to, I find it funny that they named the planet Madrigal so soon after en Encanto. Like that's just unfortunate. Yeah, because every every time they say the name of the planet, I'm thinking planet Madrigal. Da, 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 da. Nope. Nope. Bad things are happening there. <laughs> Where's that crossover? <laughs> <laughs> um like like the, the, the first scene of the show it, it, it takes place on, on that, that planet um with a bunch of rebels who are, you know, they want to be free from the from the UNSC and all that. And then Covenant shows up. They don't know what the Covenant is. Oh no. It's not for first contact, but it it's definitely early on where like not everybody knows what the covenant is. Um I heard people complain about how Cortana is handled. Yeah. They did get Jen Taylor to do the voice of Cortana. Which I do like. Um, I kind of expected it to be, you know, because C Cortana is literally Halsey. So I mean, it's, um, it's just it's her, but they got Jen, Jen Taylor to voice her instead of um, I can't think of her name. Um, oh. It's it's a it's an interesting last last name. That's what I remember, Natalie something. Uh, but uh, yeah, they got Jen Taylor and Cortana is being used at, at right now in the show as a safeguard against Master Chief. Like Cortana is put into Master Chief not just in his suit like it is in the, in the games, but in him, like Cortana is in his brain and can shut him down. Like literally like, like put him in, into a coma. If master chief is going, you know, has shows any sign of rebelling. Um, Which, I, I will say this, it does a better job at, ex, at showing off the fear that the, the UNSC has of the Spartans if they don't follow orders than Halo 5 did. Halo 5, it was just a, well, Master Chief isn't following orders, you know, what, he's kind of, yeah, he's gone kind of AWOL, but why do you need an entire fucking Spartan unit to go after him? Okay, this actually does a better job explaining that's not a good thing for them if a Spartan doesn't follow orders because he's a goddamn super soldier. And they're actually terrified of, of the Spartans that they created. Like they have like, like these emo, em, emo, emotional in, inhibitors kind of in, embedded in, in them. And um, Master Chief actually re removes his. So he's starting to have memories. But um, it's, a, it's a good show. I, I, I do look, look forward to watching it every, every week. Um, it is on Paramount Plus, and it is free on Paramount Plus. So you you'll get no you'll, one's really talking about it. You'll get ads. So, uh, 
people talked about it when like episode like one dropped because it was on YouTube. But yeah, other than that, not a whole lot of people are talking about it. And like the most I've heard is like, oh, master the complaint of him taking his helmet off in the first episode. That I that's I think that's bullshit. Because he's not a Mandalorian. They don't live in their armor. Yeah, we we've only seen them in we've only seen him in his armor because we've only seen him in combat. We've not seen, you know, John Spartan, you know, downtime. We've we've never seen that. I get that, but like they could have waited a couple episodes to add some mystery to it. Like nah. Nah, because like I said, they they don't I I'm I'm totally with, with, with them. You don't want to draw the parallel of, you know, of Ma- Mandalorian because he's not a, Ma- a Ma- Mandalorian. So, nah, I, I totally get it. And like I said, you, the, the, you do see them at during downtime. You know, you do see them being, I'm not going to say human, but, you know, you, you do see them relax a little bit. And, and when, when he took his helmet off in episode one, it made sense. Like, it wasn't just a, like, oh, I gotta get my hair out of the helmet. No, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't something like that. No, it, 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 it made sense that he took his helmet off. I've never been a, like, diehard Halo fan, so, like... Doesn't really bother me too much either way. Um, then that's, I guess that's the reason why I'm just like, eh, I, no one's really talking about this. So like, maybe I'll watch it eventually, but like, there's other stuff I want to watch that I'm actually like excited about, you know, than just like, oh, this is here. I could watch the, you know, I, it is, it is. Definitely worth a watch. I, I I think it definitely is worth a watch because it's it's pretty good sci- good good sci fi either either way. I wonder what the Steven Spielberg Showtime Halo show is going to be. You know, like remember that was the original plan. <laughs> like yeah. I wonder what that was going to be, you know, like, I think, once again, I, I want interdimensional cable from Rick and Morty <laughs> so we could see that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think with, with that, we probably never would have seen Matt Master Chief. He would have stayed in, the, in his armor the entire time. Uh, he he would have been the Ma- the Mandalorian. So, but yeah, I, it's, it's okay. It's, if you, if, if you like Halo, it's worth a watch. Um, I, I've, I've been trying to rack my, my brain because I, I read the first three books back in high school, you know, so it's been some time, been almost 20 years. So I'm trying to like, okay, the shit I remember, I don't know if this is, like, if this kind of still goes with with that with that lore, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's, I mean, it is its own story, right? Like, yes, they did say that. Yes, like, but like, so it's you know the 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 Cortana thing. Like, well, was Cortana introduced that early? Like before Reach, before before the the fall of Reach. I don't remember. Because like Cort- Cortana is like she's she's the first a- a- AI of her kind, but by the time that we see her in like the first show, 
she's not that unusual. There are other AIs that are like that are like her. So I was like, okay. And I, I'm not sure how far, uh, like, how how much before the fall of Reach does this take take place? I don't know. But I will say, episode three, the word Halo is said, and it starts Halo. Oh. Like, oh, yeah, 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 I had to say it at least once. Yeah. But I, I, I will say the CGI of like the elites and the prophets are pretty darn good. We've yet to see a grunt or a jackal. We kind of have seen a hunter. Like it's, 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 it's even in the, in the trailer I'm showing this right here. That's the hunter. Um, but we, but with that out of its ar armor. Um, but so far the, the CGI is is pretty good for the for the uh for the covenant. Okay, interesting. Uh but uh yeah, that's that's kind of it, it for me. Um What about you? What have, what have uh you been watching? I'm going to start off with a 25 year old movie I revisited. Um, okay. I it's just, I don't know how this got into as a conversation, but it was with me and some friends and, um, we talked about it and just how we one like two of them had never seen it. And then me and another friend had, and I mean, also the, the two who hadn't seen it are like, G or uh, Gen Zers. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that, okay. <laughs> that also, and, and the, me and the other friend were both, you know, in our thirties. So, um, makes sense. But, um, and we were we were talking about like doing a group watch of it, and we actually did. And the movie Face Off. Face Off. The 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 Hollywood directorial debut of John Woo. Right. Face off. Boy, this movie was way longer than it needed to be. <laughs> Two hours minutes for a movie in the nineties. An action movie in the nineties. Like Movies weren't that long, like no. So this movie is just so. This movie just is like so much ridiculousness shoved in that two two hours eighteen minutes. Like Nick Cage is the bad guy. John Travolta is the good guy. Nick Cage has a line where he says, I could eat a peach for hours. I could eat a peach for hours. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so like, what? Yeah. And then John Travolta has this like face thing he does with his hand where like his, the loved ones, he'll like, like just like Paul, like just drag his whole hand across their face. And it's the weirdest thing. Like. <laughs> and, and meanwhile, we're telling our other two friends who, you know, are Gen Zers. We're like, that wasn't a thing in the 90s. No, people didn't do that. No, no, that's a. That's, that's a John Travolta thing. Yep. Like. <laughs> we never did the. We never like. We're just, you know. Dragged our. Our. Our open palm hands across people's faces as an affection thing. No, no. Um, 
God, this movie was just just so ridiculous. Like, like don't don't no, g- g- take away the ridiculousness of okay, we have technology, we have lasers and plastic surgery and all this and that, where we can swap your faces and change this and change that and you know change your hairline to be receding to match and to do the to take away all that there's a point where nicholas cage because they they like kidnap like because they have like nick cage in custody or whatever and they have the i like the, the there's a bomb loose somewhere and they have the idea of, you know oh john travolta will do this procedure to go undercover as nick cage so he can try to find the locate all this and that like the security is so like lax that Nick Cage like wakes up and he's immediately like with his face like gone, like bandaged up. He like takes the bandages off, doesn't somehow doesn't get an infection that would like kill him, having his face with no skin exposed. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, yep. <laughs> Um, that, that but he's right able to infection. like, he's able to like, like, I don't know. He's, he, he, he's able to get out of any restraints he has, which I don't remember him really being restrained that much at all. Like, you know, you, you see now in shows and stuff like that, when the prisoners or when bad guys are arrested in prison, like they're or, or arrested and they're in the hospital, they're like handcuffed to like, you know, the, to the, to the, the bed. hospital bed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that was a thing. So he was just able to get up and then he was able to like, like somehow threaten the doctor, the who does the procedure to like give him John Travolta's face. Like this movie is so nineties and does not age well at all. No, like I, 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 I can't imagine it does, but like, it's so ridiculous. Like, you know, you know, you know, it was, it was so fun to watch with others, like, and just criticize and just like, you know, like pick apart, like all the dumb goofiness of it. Like, it was it's they're threatening a sequel i don't know if you've heard about it i have heard about it recently yes yeah like how <laughs> like how do they expect a sequel like because like spoilers nick cage he's pretty much dies in this movie like but does he die was it actually Nick Cage or somebody else? I think he takes a harpoon to the chest. Right. I'm going to say, like, maybe he replaced his face to somebody else, and that actually wasn't Nick Cage. I may, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just, it's, yeah. You could, you could say that. You yeah. know. Boy, though. There was there was the classic slow motion full of time and doves that John Woo is known for. <laughs> that was definitely in the movie. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just face off is yeah. I it it's a forgotten movie. I think that a lot of people don't remember it being a thing. Um, are you, are you saying it, sh- it should remain forgotten? I mean, I, I don't, I think people should remember th- that face off exists and look at what movies are now and where we've come, how far we've come. Cause it's definitely improved quite a bit. Like, um, yeah, this just is ridiculous. Like, it's so 90s too like so 90s action movie that it's just like it, it it just it feels like a parody it really does you know but yeah i 
put myself through that. So <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's another thing you got? Uh well I did watch something older, not quite as old as Face Off, but um a, a, a lot of mine my uh things that are gonna be anime. Um I watched go, going doing my thing of watching older or anime that I've seen before uh years ago and seeing it holds up. I can continue that. And this time I watched one of your favorite animes. The Wise Man's Grandchild. Ooh. I recently rewatched that. Did, did you? Not too long ago. Not yeah, maybe like a month or two ago. Okay, cool. Um It was it was good. Uh it was just it's still good. Um like I your I remember you you kept saying, you know, like, oh, it's it about, you know, he takes his knowledge from our time and use it into their time or use it in, in there. That's like touched on like once. He does it a few times where he uses like science or his way of th- or our way of thinking that they don't. Yes. Real, they've never but, thought about before. I, mean, I, I guess because I've seen an anime that does that a lot more. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, because um, there's one that's called, um, oh, shit, something cheat, like cheat Isekai or something, something like that. Uh, cheat ma- ma- magician. Yes, or? that's it. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Because because that that's done like, like deliberately in in the in that oh, one. Oh yeah. That is like okay. Well, I, I saw this before I saw that, so. I I think it for me it was the other way around. Yeah. I do like the 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 cheap magician though. That that is a good one. Yeah. As well. Um but uh I, I this this needs a season two. I totally agree. I just, well you, actually, who knows? Who knows anymore? Like See when, when did this come out? Like 2016. Like when did? Because the well the the, w- the trailer that I have up is from 2019, which is odd. I'd say there's probably no chance, but we're literally literally we're getting a season two or a a new season of uh the what's it called? Uh, Devil is a part timer. Oh so. no! It a- aired in 2019. Really? really? I thought it was a lot older. <laughs> no, it aired in 2019. Like Is that the dub or the No, that is the show. Wow. April Wow. It was April 10th, 2019. So three years ago today. It was airing. Yeah. I'm with you. I thought this was a lot <laughs> older. Like I, Yeah. Um but yeah, I mean, but, if you're counting pandemic years, though. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes well, sense cause, now. Cause, <laughs> cause, well, on, on this trailer that we're watching, it, it even says 2019. I'm like, what? Because, like, beginning airing spring 2019. It says it right there. Um, yeah, it, it's, it holds up, I guess. From three years ago. Again, I thought I was older. I thought I was older. Yeah, it's it's it it, it and it's one where the, the main the protagonist is like he's a respectable character. He's not like the pervy He's not the whatever um Yeah. Yeah, he's he's not that that character. Um and this one does have it it's not harem. It, there's only one one girl. They do end up getting getting together. It's like late in the in the season, but they do end up getting getting t- together. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's a definitely rec- recommend to anybody who ha- who hasn't seen it. And like, I would totally agree. Yeah, we need a season two. For sure, there there should be a season two. 
Yeah. And we're not we're not too far away as we as we have re realized we're not too far away. Or we could still re reasonably get a season two. Yeah, you're right about that. And uh, who knows? You know, the pandemic could have delayed a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I, I feel like we might have, if it was coming in soon, we would have heard something by now. Heard something at least. Yeah. Yeah, there there would have been an an, an announcement of some kind. Uh, what about you? I'm going with another Nicolas Cage movie. You're um, on a Nicolas Cage <laughs> kick. Uh, it, it, the, this one is actually better um, and newer. This one is... How old is this one? Uh, it is... It's the one I'm thinking of. It's like two years old. No, this one is. Oh wow, this is not little a little newer, but this one is is that can't be right. Eighteen years old. Oh, that is not the one I'm wow. thinking of then. Yeah, two thousand four. So that would make it eighteen years old, right? Yes. Wow. National Treasure. Ah. National Treasure is 18 years old. Oh my God. That sure. makes me feel old. Like, that doesn't, that feels like 10 years old. Like, wow. Okay. Um, it holds up for the most part. There are some moments that are kind of like, a bit cheesy and hokey, but for the most part, it it's pretty good. Like there's not a whole lot of, I mean, you know, the, the, the few like tech scenes that are, that pop up, of course you're like, okay, wow. That's, that's kind of old. Um, but for the most part, you know, it really holds up. It's a fun, fun movie to watch. You know, there's, there's, there's going to be a show, I think, right? National Treasure show that doesn't have Nick Cage involved. Who knows? Which is dumb because they teased a third in for the, the second movie teased a, a continuation. So they just need to have a third movie. Um, but. Yeah, it, it's a fun movie, you know, it's the whole like. Nick Cage, his family is like, we're protectors of like a secret or whatever that was handed down from the like Freemasons or whatever and about his crazy treasure and that was passed from like so many different civilizations and whatnot and um, Nick Cage is working with this uh, with uh it is. He's working with this guy and ends up like being a bad guy. And so, you know, they, he leaves Nick Cage for dead because they realize that the, the next clue to the treasure is on the back of the end of the, the declaration of independence. Let me get this straight. You want to steal the declaration of independence? I, I know I, I did that in a Nick, Nick Cage voice, but it wasn't Nick Cage who said it. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, yeah, Nick Cage didn't say that. No, nope. <laughs> like, I know, I know what I did as I was doing it. I'm like, that's Nick Cage yeah. didn't say it. Nick Cage responds and says, "I don't want to steal it, but I'm gonna have to to protect it." <laughs> like, <laughs> but um. Oh yes, and Sean Bean was in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> totally forgot that. Um, yeah, this, this is a fun movie. I really, I'm, I'm going to watch the second one. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, cause they're on Disney plus. Um, so. right. Cause they were Disney movies. 
Yeah. Um, when did the second one come out? Was it probably like two years later? I'm guessing three years later. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't remember anything about the second one, to be honest. Book of Secrets. I remember. Uh, yeah. nope. Don't remember the thing. Yeah, so I, I'm looking forward to that. I remember there was a lot like in the first, even though it was a long time since I've seen the first one, you know, the last time I saw the first one was a while ago. I There were parts where I'm like, oh, I remember this. I remember that. I remember the scene where they have the little boy like run in the museum, look at the thing, uh-huh. run out, Yep. you know, bit by bit. Like, I remember that, you know, there were a lot of those beats that I was like, oh, I remember that was, you know, so. I would recommend watch, like, like, check if you one if you haven't seen it, check it out, because it's actually a good movie. Like, now, I think now I might remember you, too. Does he meet the president in this one? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. No, okay. I think so that's it's number two. two. It's two. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he he definitely does. Okay. So that scene I remember from two. Um. And like, and I, what I remember from two is like his plucky sidekick, uh, blew all all of his money that he got by the end of this this movie. Yeah, which is like an ungodly amount, and it's like how. How do you blow that much? Like, but, but yeah, it's, it's a fun movie. It's Nick Cage is actually like acting and really good and actually, you know, acting good. Well, this in a is, movie this is before like, Nick Cage just started saying yes to everything. Well, I mean, it's before Nick Cage got in like financial trouble. Is, is that did that actually happen, or is that just the rumor? No, he got in, okay. he got in because like like have you have you never have you not heard about the like oh no I, I dinosaur have. bone or dinosaur skeleton he bought and uh, ended up giving to the museum and didn't recuperate any of that money. Back? I have like <laughs> but like I also thought that the whole thing of like him being in complete debt was a rumor. No, no, I've seen articles like. I remember seeing articles like maybe in the last year or so that it was like saying that he finally, you know, like has paid off his debt or something. There's something like that. Like, I don't know. There was, there was something that was talking about, like, you know, that was saying pretty much like now he doesn't have to say yes to anything, you know, because he was saying yes to like some really bad stuff. <laughs> like, yep, that's how you get like Season of the Witch, Burning Man, or no, Wick, Wick, Wicker Man. Um, what was another one. Now uh, those those two are the thing the only ones that come come to mind. Um. Looking, there's a lot that I just don't even, don't even recognize, like the names. They're just that forgettable. Um, Drive Angry. (laughs) I've never seen that, but that always looked like a ridiculous movie. Um, He like drove out of hell or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which he was Ghost Rider too, so that's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Season of the Witch. Sorcerer's Apprentice. I've never seen that. Right. I have seen that. Um, did he really do... Oh, yeah, he did a Left Behind movie. Oh, good. Because we need more of those. Sure, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 
God, it seems like there's every every couple years there's a new like left behind type movie, you know. Yeah. So, I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed National Treasure. I thought it was it was a fun fun movie. I definitely people haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out and if you haven't seen it in a while, I'd recommend checking it out. It's, if you have Disney Plus, that is. I mean, I'm kind of like looking through Disney Plus stuff like, "Oh man, I want to watch this and that. I haven't seen this in so long or that in so long." I want to sit down and watch like the first Pirates movie again soon. I did not uh, about, a, about a month month ago. I did. Because I was like, okay, I'm going to watch all of the pi- the Pirates movies. Got halfway through the, through the second one. I think I'm done. Because <laughs> I have yeah. not, I've not I- seen the, the, la- the la- last one. I don't remember anything at all of the one before that. I like the third one. The third one was all right, I thought. Second one was kind of meh, but that first one, you can't beat that first one. It's so good. It's pretty good. Yeah. And it's just upsetting that like the next one's going to be terrible cuz it's going to be Margot Robbie in like a all female version or something I yeah something like that cuz it was cuz Johnny Depp is canceled cuz cancel culture is stupid when he shouldn't be it should be Amber Heard anyway we need to watch this yeah. movie we need to watch this movie as a collective we need to watch it. I'm just going to read read the synopsis before I tell you the title Every six years, an ancient order of jiu-jitsu fighters joined forces to battle the fer- a ferocious race of alien invaders. But when a celebrated war hero goes down in defeat, the fate of the planet hangs in the balance. It's a Nick Cage movie called Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, I remember seeing that. Like, yeah. I remember seeing that poster. Just from that, I want to watch this movie. And Tony Jaw is in it. I am a fan of Tony Jaw. But I know it's going to be terrible. It's got a... Uh, oh, poor, poor man's Gerard Butler's in it, too. Frank Grillo. Frank Grillo? I call him poor man's Gerard Butler because that's what he reminds me of. He reminds me of like a knockoff Gerard Butler. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Huh. Weird. This came out 2020. Yeah. But yeah, what's another one for you? Another one for me is um, this one's not. I think this one aired last season. I don't know. Um, and you might have actually seen it. I don't remember if you talked about it or not. Um, the Saints' magic power is um, omnipotent. You seen it? Yes. Okay. I I'm could... trying to remember which anime this is, though. <laughs> I I know I've seen it, though. <laughs> yep. Doesn't doesn't help that you know a lot of these are the, are similar. Um. It's about a, a an office a worker who gets home and then finds herself teleported to another world. Isekai. Um. And it's her and another woman. They they show up there, and like oh, I remember the this one. Yes, bursts in, takes one look at both of them, and chooses the younger girl. Goes, you're the saint, and we must train 
train you and completely ignores the main character. Say. Yup. Um, so she goes, oh, well, I'm kind of stuck here. So I, you know, I have this passing interest in herbs. So mm -hmm. why not, uh, join the research institute and make potions using herbs. And her potions are like 150 times better than everybody else's for some reason. And she learns magic, and her magic is better than everybody else's, and oh look, she's the saint. And not the other girl. And she is like, like, sort of treated like crap, like, in some ways. Only by, the, well, not really, like, because I, like, when I say, I mean, when you say you're treated like crap, it's not... It's not on, like, shield hero level. Yo, no, 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 no. It's not that bad. It <laughs> not by any means. <laughs> more like, it, it is literally the prince a, a ignored her. That is yeah. kind of the slight that she was given. So they're all, folk, they're all like, at first focusing on the other one. Yeah. yeah but. Um, but. And it, it by the, by, by the end, though, because, like, at first, like, you're like, well, the, the prince is a fucking asshole. He's kind of like the antagonist of the series, right? No. No, because he kind of makes up for it. Because kind of by, by the end, he... 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 He acts in such a way to where when it comes out that the girl that he was fo focused on um, turned out not to be, be the saint... He made it in, he, he acted in, in such a way where, like, she's not going to be completely ignored. She's going to be treated, you know, more like a victim instead of just a, oh, yeah, so just brush you off to the side. But more of a victim, more of a, okay, we're, we're going to make, make, make a right by, by you, by the way, you know, so. So he, and he, he did that on purpose. Like it was even stated, like he he did that on purpose. So, not at, not at first, but he did later. So he wasn't completely awful by the end. There were times though he was very reluctant to like admit that. Oh no, he he was he he's, yeah. he's definitely an arrogant <laughs> asshole. Yeah, but not in such a way where it's like, you know, go go fuck yourself. You know, not, not like the princess from Shield Hero. I, I get, got to compare, compare it to Sh Shield Hero in, in that way. Oh, you mean bitch? Bitch, yes. And or whore? Uh-huh. And or whore? Yes. Depending if she's uh, her adventurer name. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, I gotta, I gotta talk. I, before, before because Shield Hero Season 2 is airing right now, I was gonna, okay, I'm going to watch season one again to kind of get back in and kind of remind myself. I did that recently too. I can't, so. I can't, I can't watch. I know what happens. I know what happens. I, I, I know what happens, but I still get so fucking ticked off that it, it, it took me three days to watch half of the first episode. Um, and I eventually just skipped it. I skipped the first episode. Yeah, I knew immediately that was the gonna that was the hardest one to get through. So I skipped the first. There are some other scenes, but the first episode's the hardest to get through. By yeah, it's, no comparison. Yeah, yeah. I I I end up skipping the, the first episode. It took me th three days to do that, and then like it takes it takes me like two three days to watch a full episode. Like oh, I can't do it there is the turning point and there are a lot of stuff that like you, you, you want, you're going to want to, I, 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 I feel know like, I, I do. There's a lot of stuff. I, I do. I was like, I forgot that was a thing. Oh and my God. I know. Like, I know what happens to the people I fucking hate, but that still doesn't mean I can't fucking yeah. stand more out when they're on screen. It was, yeah, it's so, it's so tough. Yeah. It's, it's a tough one to watch. 
Yeah. Um, but uh, I'll get I'll I'll get get through it, and then I'll end up starting season season two. Yeah. It. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I really like this one though. This uh, it's good going back to yes. Yeah. Um. There, there is um, a, a romance here that is a very slow burn. It takes, like, the entire season. And even by then, it's not fully realized. Yeah. But it's not as bad as others, like... No. Now, I, was it the villainous one? Like that one is just so there, bad. There are some. Well, also any any harem anime that's just like it's like if you want to watch r- romance, don't watch harem. That is not that is that is the worst kind of romance stories. They were the worst. And for and for a while there, that was the ones I liked to watch. Cause you know, I'm a dude. Uh, but well, yeah, and <laughs> also that the, it was it was like harem, but it's also isekai, you know. Yes, and there there are those. There were are a lot, those a lot of cross categories. Yeah. yeah. And for the longest time, every anime was somehow a harem anime as well as something else. Yes, it felt like. <laughs> But they are slowing down. There are, are I, I am enjoying like yeah. There's there's been the there's been better uh, romance anime or animes that that we like that have better ro- romances in them. Yeah, like we've talked about before the 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 kicked from the party. Uh huh. Yeah. The hero's party. Yep. It, it that handles it so well. That, like that's a good one. And, and, so and good. to have a relationship early on. That's a good way to handle it. Um, another one I would recommend if anyone's interested: Snow White, Snow White with the red hair. So good, I absolutely love that. There's like two seasons of that, and it's so good. Like, so yeah, it's refreshing when like animes, you know, handle like romance in a mature way and not yes. just like and not just oh you know, Pratt Pratt fall into boobs. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like yeah, oh, I that tripped was... and there's six girls around me. Who which one am I gonna accidentally grab their panties and pull down? Like Sure, I, I liked that when I you know twenty twenty years ago, but you know Yeah. <laughs> it's like it gets to a point where it's like, ugh, again? Like, yeah. I think that's a sign we're maturing. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> but we used to. But we used to. Oh, I don't like. I don't like maturing. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't. You, yeah, there's, there is that. It means we're getting old. <laughs> yes, that, at at some point my beard will no longer blend in with my with my dark shirts. I know. Um, but uh, yeah, the saint's power is omnipotent, omnipotent. Um, it's good. Um, it's it's a good like almost so it's a good like female driven anime too. I'm enjoying those. We're getting more of those, and they they're handled really well. well lately, we're 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 getting more of them, and they're and I, I I think they're doing a better better job at appealing to um a broader audience than they than they used to. Um, but yeah. Uh, what what have what have you been watching? Only anime I got to talk about. Um, Food Wars, <laughs> the fifth plate, season five, the final season. Um, 
I'm pretty sure they're not going to have any more like, um, this show has progressed quite a bit season to season. Um, like at first, okay, it was kind of ridiculous, you know, like some of the metaphors were like, oh, they're, they enjoy the food so much that like the, it, they metaphorically, their clothes blast off and, you know, they, they, they have like, you know, like orgasm, like, you know, um, reactions to the food stuff like that okay but like they still stuck for the most part with like actual like cooking methods and terminology and stuff like that you know like so it was kind of cool you know then they slowly started getting even more crazier um i think i thought i think the fourth season i remember telling you that like they they had like an equivalent to like a like a Nazi, like, like a Nazi food regime that like was taking over. And there was a character who was like Nazi Hitler, like, or like, like food Hitler. Um, and it was just like ridiculous. And, oh, that whole like metaphorical, like clothes popping off thing. Oh, well this kid, well the, the, the food Hitler guy, he apparently has that for real. Like, because it's an ability that runs in a fa- in in the in, in his family, um, it runs in his family. Oh, but it also he's not actually part. He actually married into the family, and it actually gave it to him as well. And it's like, wait, what? That's, like, that's not what? how what <laughs> ability? Okay, like what? That's just huh? Okay, whatever. That's dumb. Um. So yeah, like it, it, you know, that caused some tension, and now it's the fifth season. It's like they they introduce another like antagonist who's like, oh, I'm having my revenge, and I'm part of I'm I'm leading this underground, you know, uh, black market type like you know dark web version of chefs or whatever who have all these crazy outlandish food techniques like this one this one person has this crazy chainsaw that has these little fine blades on them that oh she she's able to oh so slightly you know use it to tenderize the meat and whatever with that but if she isn't that precise it's going to shred it to death. So, you know, she's really, and it's just like, no, you're being dumb. No, that's not, you're getting away from like the food elements being like, for the most part on par with real food stuff. Like you're just totally throwing that out the window. Um, it's just like, yeah, like, you know, the the trailer that I showed it 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 showed like a brief just like like flash of like all like the different v- villains and like these are all like your typical anime v- villains but this is a food show that's 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 not how that's supposed to work yeah because like like in the first couple seasons it was like oh yeah the the, the food wars and you know like the, oh we have to we, it's a competition we have to go against whatever and it's like. You know, it, like the crate, like for for the, like it'd be like, oh well, I'm going up against you, and your specialty is is you know Italian cuisine. You know, you're from you're actually from Italy, and you're you gr- grew up in you know you grew up in uh, Italian restaurant, and oh, you have a uh, uh, what's what's the manda mandolina mandolin something like the, the that Italian knife. I forget what it's called. It's something like mandolin is a uh, type of guitar. It's something like manda Mandalorian. Oh, I do not spell that right. Mm-hmm. 
I have no idea how. It's like that. It's like uh, it's it's like a weird curved like knife. I don't know, but it, it's like a real thing, like a real like thing that is used in you know. So like, like you know, like in the crate, one of the craziest things was like there was one character who's like, oh, I'm able to copy other people's styles, and it's like, okay, that's kind of ridiculous, but like whatever it's anime and then it, like i said it got so ramped up to where like oh i have a i have a chainsaw that has little blades that i'm able to coat in seasoning and finally you know finally score the meat and infuse the seasoning and it's just like oh come on really like a, met- a metzula metzula yeah okay Like it looks like you have to, you have to use like like two like two hands because it's got like two 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 handles, or some some of them do. Some of them have like one one in the middle. Yeah, and like it was like it was two brothers too. So like then they worked together a lot to cook and whatever. So that was kind of a like also in the theme of that. You know, to the two handles they both hold. You know, whatever. And so, like, you know, it, it, it's stuff like that where it's like, okay, that's a little, like, you know. Or there was one person who's like, oh, my family is, they're export, they're, they're, they're in the business of meat and fine quality meats. And I'm, you, you're ba- going to have to battle me. And I have these great quality meats at my disposal, you know, stuff like that. That's like realistic, you know, like, actually having fine quality meats, you know, an opponent who has fine quality meats in a food battle, it would be a, like an obstacle to try to get around, you know, sure. not like, like I said, a chainsaw that has little tiny like edges that is coated in the seasoning that's able to infuse when it scores the meat. Like it's just, it, yeah. Just, it, or, or like, the the main antagonist he's his whole thing was kind of like like the like i said like the other guy, person who was able to like mimic people's abilities but if like oh if he has the chainsaw he can copy them or if he has you know this person's like he chef's knife cuz he like went around like battling people and he was like if i win i get your i get your knife or i get your this or i get you know so he's like collecting people's abilities or whatever like it's like what what is this like like siler from heroes but with food like you're just stealing people's powers like or their cooking styles like what like it, it was getting ridiculous like i still watched it it was enjoyable for the most part it wrapped up fairly nice like as far as the main storyline goes like it it was pretty good like I, i'll say that like sometimes animes just don't end end right or end well yeah where you're like i kind of want more or what the hell was that this one was kind of like okay it's over i'm satisfied with the ending well, it got mo- crazy but it reeled it back at the end you know most of the time anime is used as an a- advertisement to the source material yeah which yeah. are light no- novels or manga. Um, but, uh, and I'm not, I'm, have you seen the show? Um, is it, is this cake? I completely forgot about that. I've, I've, I've seen the first episode. I have not, but I've been on TikTok. So yeah. Well, yeah, yes, it, <laughs> I I feel like this came from TikTok. This the show. Oh, came, it totally did. Came from TikTok. it totally did. Yeah, and it's a it's a competition cooking show on net net Netflix called "Is This Cake?" And it's you know, and the chef and you know, it's like three of the chefs, or at least in the first episode, you know, they pick well, they 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 picked a a fast food item to then try to replicate as cake and then the judges have to then guess 
out of you know a, a group of like five, which one of those is cake? And nobody, like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. One person picked a a burger. Okay, yep, that that's an easy one. Um, the other one picked a a croissant breakfast sa sandwich. Like weird. Well, that one would be kind of tough to do because croissants are kind of flaky. And there, there was another option of like a milkshake. Like I would have picked the fucking milkshake, and then the other person picked a taco. Like that's that's the last thing I would have picked is a taco. Because not only do you got to do the taco shell, you got to do the meat. You gotta do the toppings, like, that would... No. I mean, if they're confident enough, then go ahead, you know? He, he ended up getting... He ended up tricking him. I, I think he was the only... He was actually the only one that did. I've seen, like, the TikToks of, like, oh, it's an old, disgusting work boot. Oh, no, it's cake. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure that's kind of that's the kind of stuff that that the later episodes are. That it's just yeah. like, oh, it's a telephone. Oh no, it's cake. <laughs> oh, it's a cute little puppy. Oh, I hope it's cake. It's cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as this knife goes through his head, like, <laughs> yeah. I've seen like I've seen like uh, duets of those where they're like, oh, I hope it's cake. I hope it's cake. Yeah, this totally was stolen from TikTok, though. Yeah, like, it, yeah, yeah. I've heard about it, though. I've heard, you know, but like, I don't know. Like, I, it, it's one of those things. Like, how, how, like, how, how many times can you watch? Like, like, it, yeah, it's impressive, but like, it's it's. I can only see this stuff for so much, you know. Right. Like, it, it's not like a ten season thing. I'm gonna like hope it gets you know and there's one person on there that makes me i was like it's why i hate re re reality reality shows and just like oh god because there's just one one of the chefs he he, I, he didn't do anything in the first episode the first episode but he already annoys me just because of the type of person he is he has like you know you know multicolored dyed hair and like he he like put like seashells all in his beard and like glued like seashells over his gl glasses because he's kooky. Like he's that type of person. I'm like, oh no, I avoid people like you. Uh, but Dude, anyway. you're trying way too hard. Yes. Like <laughs> yes, <laughs> like yeah, like he's got one personality. He's faking one personality. Because <laughs> the actual kooky people don't have to try. They just are. Right. Like. <laughs> but and I just Food Wars finally wrapped up. And like I said, it got a bit it got a bit ridiculous, but overall, like it did a good job ending. Yeah, so this was I was satisfied. That was that was one one of the one of the animes my sister tried to watch, but she but she she texted me saying, "I can't watch this while while mom mom and dad mom and dad are home. I can't watch this one." Oh, <laughs> <I'm> yeah. Like, <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah, like because that is definitely one of the animes. Is like, is it's just like like the what what happens when your parents aren't in the room versus what happens when they when they do walk in the room like. They come in at the wrong fucking time. Yeah. I wonder if there... If, I wonder how many more cooking animes there will be, because I don't know of that many. I know Food Wars, and then I've mentioned before Restaurant to Another World. That's Which, another one that's did that get a new very season? wholesome. Or is, that, is that getting another season? I don't I, think I, I saw so. some about, about that re recently. Season 2 wrapped up not too long ago, and it it wrapped up pretty good. Like at least at least it wrapped up to where like 
I was satisfied and I'm like, okay, if we don't get more, that's fine. But I would like more. And that's a wholesome one, you know, that has no like fan service, no nothing. That's just like, oh, here's some people. Here's here's a person from, you know, another world and a little bit into like a couple minutes into their life, you know, and their backstory and oh here's a door and oh it's the restaurant and they're looking they're... through the menu they discover oh hamburger steak okay i'm gonna choose that and oh i love hamburger steak it's my best thing you know like i, I just looked up just a little list of like cooking in main like there's a there's a few there's quite a few i don't these are i don't think you would be interested in those because those seem to appeal to like ten-year-old girls. It's like they're magical girl cooking shows. It's like okay, that's, uh, okay, that's that's yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. The restaurant to another world though. That was like a nice slice of life kind of style anime that was around food, like. And how people from another world would react to like a hamburger with fries, you know, mm-hmm. or you know, like you know, like uh, steamed potatoes, like just simple stuff, you know. Or like, All right, I've not had know. dinner yet. We need to not talk about. Yeah, we need to stop talking about food <laughs> or pizza, like. <sighs> That's that's the that, uh, that's the one thing I'm confident. If I ever like isekai myself, I'd be able to re- recreate pizza. I think <laughs> pretty well. Like that's not a terrible, not, uh, terribly mayonnaise hard. And have mayonnaise become a currency? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I know what you're referencing. Um, what's another one you got? Uh, another one I got. This one, this one is just by the t- title. Oh, this one's a romance anime. Love after world domination. Only one that one episode is out right now, and it's it's something. It's basically. Super Sentai or Power Rangers. But if like the Red Ranger then fell in love with one of the villains, one of. uh... This is that TikTok video. I saw a video where it was like anime Power Rangers and it was like anime Power Rangers. And I'm like, what is this? Oh, this is from that. I'm guessing. Well, there's there's a couple Super Sentai and animes, but this one's currently airing. Yeah, like and I saw one a, a video like a day ago, and it was, was legit like a Power Rangers, but anime like yes, yeah. um, and like there it's Super Sentai Gel- Gelato Five. It's like the Italian ice cream. <laughs> yes, exactly because <laughs> the Red Ranger is strawberry. Um, blue, oh God. <laughs> blue is soda. Like, is a soda gelato? What? Okay. Uh, pink is peach. Um, yellow is. Oh God, I don't remember what yellow is. It's not banana. Not banana. Lemon. I don't think it was lemon. It could be lemon. I'm not sure. And then. Green was pistachio. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah. You know, like, like soda, soda was weird, but then okay, pistachio. That's also weird. Anyway, like the first episode, it kind of starts out with like everybody but Red are like down in this in this canyon fighting the their forms of putties. Um, just like just the, the the throwaway min- minions, 
and Red and this villain are up on on the on top of the of the canyon. You know, green grass. They're just having a picnic because they're because they're on a date. Um, and then like one of the one of the other ones, like, I think it was blue, kind of cl climbed up the edge of the cliff. Red, do you need help? Uh, and then they both like gr grapple, like as in their middle of, middle of a fight. Oh, this is intense. Okay, I think you you. I don't think you need my help. Then he cl cl climbs back down, and then <laughs> then the um. I forget. She's like like uh, the Reaper princess or something like that. She goes, oh, we're holding hands. God. And then she like pull, pulls out this girly no notebook, like circles the date. I remember this date. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's something. It's funny. It's really funny. And it's just like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm going to enjoy this this one. So, yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one is definitely good. Uh, only one episode so far. Um, but um, yeah. It's definitely definitely one I will continue watching. So uh, what about what about you? I almost don't want to talk about this because it was really bad. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a movie. Um, called The Bubble. And it looked like it kind of could have been all right. Like from what I knew about it, it's like uh, during um, the pandemic, uh, you know, like in uh, a, a, a movie shoot, like during the pandemic and like from, from, from and it's got a It's got a good cast. Like, yeah, let me just read the cast. Like, uh, Karen Gillan, great. Um, my IMDb is so terrible when it comes to like listing cast now. I feel like, um, Karen Gillan, I know they're in here. Um, Pedro Pascal, Keegan Michael Key, Leslie Mann, David Duchovny. Okay, that 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 is David. De he looks weird in that in that on that poster. Fred Armisen, Kate McKinnon, uh, and it's got like cameos from like other people. Like Daisy Daisy Ridley has a pretty good one. Like I will I love her little. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the movie was her little cameo. Um, well, she has like. She's in a tw like two different spots, and the second one is hilarious because of the of the first one. I'll just say that. But um, then like John Lithgow and John Cena and a couple others are in. James M McAvoy is in it as James McAvoy. Um, he's an altercation with Karen Gillan's character for like a, a second, but. They're pretty much like, like the movie they're they're making is pretty much like Sharknado, like it's like Sharknado's version. Or it's like this world's version, and it's a Jed Apatow movie, so it's like their version of like, you know, Sharknado or whatever. And um, they're you know they're they're like quarantine. They have to go through quarantine, and then. It it talks it goes through like, you know, them doing the filming and no, oh, they there's a TikTok star who's so she has like a hundred million followers and they have her 
starring in the movie and whatever. And this movie is just awful, though. Like, it's so bad. I can just tell you it was going to be awful by the premise. Um, we're not far enough away where we can do things like this yet. We're not far enough away I from, mean, from, from the pandemic to do shit like this. I would normally agree, but like, I don't know. I saw a few things about this that was kind of like, oh, that's kind of funny. Like, they're making fun of a TikTok star, you know, because there's a point where like, it, it shows that she got the whole cast to do some stupid TikTok like dance or whatever. I mean, it, it, that was literally just in the in the trailer a second ago. Yeah. As, you were ta- as you were talking about it. And it's like, oh, that's kind of that's that's kind of funny, you know, making fun of TikTok, and you know, that's like Karen Gillan. She skipped, like, I think this is like four, and she or this is five, and she skipped the fourth one to do some other dumb movie, and now the cast is she's having to deal with the cast being mad at her because she skipped the fourth in the series, and. Just I don't know. Like I I I would agree I would have agreed like you were too close, but like you like I said, Karen Gillan, like uh Pedro Pascal, Key and Michael Key, David Duchovny. I'm like, okay, uh, like a cast that's a solid can't cast. Say shitty shitty writing. Yeah, you you're real right about that. Um I didn't realize it was Jed Apatow too until like after I had watched it. I'm not the biggest fan of him, of his stuff, to be honest. Uh, I liked for, for Forty Old Virgin. I mean, I I like that too. I like that, yeah. But like, there's a lot of stuff he's done that I'm just like, eh, I could live without that. Like, yeah. train wreck was kind of meh was it this is 40 and haven't seen um funny people didn't really like that knocked up was all right i guess yeah, and i I, I, didn't, I didn't care for it yeah um and you know like just yeah and it also doesn't it also it doesn't help that like you want to talk about nepotism like he puts Leslie Mann in all of his movies cuz he's either married or was married I can't I forget um and he put in this one he put his daughter in 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 this too I think his daughter's the TikTok star I want to say they're currently married Okay yeah so I I don't follow who's like celebrity relationships, so I'm just you know I'm impressed. I knew that they are ma- or they were married or you know that they're a thing. Um, well, I just I just looked up both both of his kids have have IMDb because they've both been in, been in his movies. Yeah, Iris Apatow, that's the one. And yeah, it's she, like, okay. She, she was also in Funny People and not Knocked Up. Oh, she was also yeah, in Sausage she's... Party. Um, and then there's Maud. Who was also in the, the This is 40 Funny People Knocked Up. I'm not a fan of Fred Armisen, Armisen either. And he plays like the annoying character that, that he like the annoying type character he's kind of known to play. You know, the like weird eccentric character. I I feel like he's played that type of character in so many other things. Yeah. And he's like the director who like, I want to, I want to, uh, 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 what's the, the Sundance award or whatever on a movie I made off my iPhone while I was working at Home Depot. I'm the artistic, whatever, whatever, you know, like indie art 
director, blah blah blah. Like it's just like ugh. He can, he can. Be, Kate Mc... like Fred, Fred Armisen can be okay in certain roles. I, but yeah, yeah, he can. He I can agree get, with that. He he can, he can get annoying. And Kate McKinnon was just playing Kate McKinnon, like her typical role. She was like the douchebag executive that the 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 guy who was like the 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 on hands executive or the on hands producer was like having to report to like yeah it was just just this was a bad movie like i was really hopeful just because like i said the cast i saw the cast and i'm like maybe it's good <laughs> I like like these handful, th- this handful of people that you know, the, the like Karen Gillan, Keegan Michael Key, Pedro Pascal, David Duchovny. It's like I like them, typically, but in this movie, no, nah, no, not so much. Like, and it it, it literally get, there was literally a point where like this. Hold on, I think someone's on my door. I'll be right back. All right, I'll I'll vamp. Um, I got nothing to vamp about. Um, just real by watching this trailer, it doesn't look good. And what? But the deep fake of Benedict Cumberbatch. Why? Why was? Uh, Did not need need to be a thing. I didn't really vamp. I heard. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. The deep fake of Benedict Cump was very odd. Like, but like, also, there was like, it went to like a section where, like, oh, there's the, the studio hire ended up hiring these people to make sure the movie comes out because, like, you know, the film industry is in jeopardy and this needs to come out and make money and whatever, whatever. And like they hire this crazy, like, like this super crazy character who's like, I guess, security or whatever. And like, there's a point where like Leslie Mann's character is like had enough and she's walking, like she's running, like, no, she's not running. She's, Cause, cause they all show, they show like, oh, when they're in quarantine that this, like Karen Gillan, she like exercises and does some stuff. And then Leslie Mann, she like puts on roller skates and she has like her, her, cause they're staying in this big, like hotel mansion thing, whatever. And they have like custom, their rooms are semi-customized and it's like Leslie Mann has roller blades and a section of her room is like hardwood floor so she can whatever and so she's like rollerblading like trying to leave and like the the security people start like they're like stop her and they shoot her hand like and like her hands all like malformed because like fingers got shot off and stuff and it's like what this is this is turned from this is so not a normal comedy. This is t- so more of a parody. This is this is similar to the parody movie that they're making that that they're shooting than an actual movie. Like it's just oh, it was so bad. Like I would not recommend this at all. I I would skip. Yep, I was I was gonna watch people. it anyway. But like I said, like it's comedy and it's got funny people that I like. 
and I was hopeful, and I didn't know it was Jed Apatow. If I knew, I probably w- would have at least waited till more people had were talking about it. It's not good on Rotten Tomatoes either. It's pretty bad. Oh no, I, I, um, I forgot. I was gonna look. Look it up, but I didn't. I think it's like 20s or 30s, something like that. Um, That's higher than I expected. And Jeff Apatow, he, he makes comedy. His comedies are always so long. Like, comedies don't need to be over two hours long. 24. Like, yeah. Like, you know, it's like when your comedy is like, the same as like a you know like a marvel movie you know like there's an issue there because jokes don't the, j- you've got to be very confident in your movie's jokes to make it longer than it should you know like to, to make it longer than normal comedies you know And his, for, for uh, the way I see it, his movies don't like the jokes really don't hit most no, of the time. No, not, not, not many do. So, yeah, like I, 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 that's the biggest thing was I didn't know it was Jedi Patel. I would have totally skipped if I, if I knew, but yeah. So, and, and this, this came out like recently too, like April, April 1st. There you go. April 1st. Joke's on me. Yeah. I actually wasted time watching this. I mean, the good thing is, we live in a world where, like, oh, this movie's kind of bad. I'm going to get on my phone and maybe it'll get better. I don't know. And <laughs> just like, kind of have it in the back end up i end up having it in the background while i'm on my phone doing stuff so at least at least there's that you know unlike yeah you know it, it used to be you know where you'd go to the video store and rent the movie and you know if it turned out to be bad you're like well i can stop watching it and not have anything to watch or i can you know like uh, I, I I enjoy the the world we live in now, for convenience. Um, what's another thing you got? Uh, see, another thing I got is an anime I've I've been looking forward to for a good while because I read the manga years ago. Um, and that's Spy Family. And I don't I don't know if it's Spy Family or Spy X Family. Sometimes the X is pronounced. Sometimes it isn't. I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm just going to call it Spy Family. The premise is that there is a spy, surprise, um, in kind of a not quite uh, Western Germany, or it could be Eastern. I'm not sure. Uh, there. There's kind of a, there's, there's a not Western and not Eastern Germany and they're at war with each other. And there's this, um, and the, like the top spy is, uh, is missions to get close to, uh, this one guy and the best, best place to do that is through, uh, his daughter's school. So he has to. So his mission is to obtain a child and wife and present themselves as the perfect family to get close to them. Well, the, the, the spy uh, Twilight uh, goes to the, an, an or- orphanage and there's one little girl there. She happens to be psychic. And can read his mind. And she also happens to be really into spy shows on TV. And she's like five. She's like like four or five. So she, you know, is like, yes, I will be 
an agent. Yes. So she kind of reads his mind to, you know, kind of coax herself as to being smarter than she actually is. Um, and to like trick him into like adopting her. And, um, it's a really like nice and like wholesome show, like, even though it's, it's spy, but like the wholesome show because, and it, it's, it's, it's stated that like, um, she has been brought back to this or- orphanage multiple times. Oh, okay. So like, she's not, she's, she's a, she's a science. She, well, she's a, she's an experiment that, that got, uh, out and it escaped um, and has been hiding and kind of ended up in, a, in an orphanage. So she uh, she's kind of on the, on the run, but I don't think she really knows it because <laughs> she's five. So, but, um, and it's not in the, in the first episode. There's only one, one episode out, but um, what will happen is well there's got to be an, a wife in there in the picture too well there's this other there's this woman who is a a master hit hit woman she she, she she's a master ass, ass, assassin and like she's like also like, like so good like like her her own brother do, do, doesn't even know that she's this assassin and he works for the for for the government um and um what's going to happen in the show is you know they end up kind of finding e- 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 each other and the little girl thinks it's the best thing ever because she's got a dad who's a spy and a mom who, who's an assassin it's the greatest family in the world but like i said it's also like a really wholesome kind of adorable show with this little bit of like es- espionage kind of thro- thrown in. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, it's, what is it? It's premiering. Um, the, the dub is tomorrow, but it really, I think it really, I think it's weird because this says like, oh, the dub is Saturday, April 16th, but there's going to be an early showing on Crunchyroll's Twitch channel today at 1 p.m. PT. So that already happened, but like uh, that that's news to me that they like have early showings of stuff on their Twitch channels. Like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Um, the main the and they they have like the voice for the main three the I haven't looked up the 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 main the 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 main male character he's voiced by the same dude who does uh who voices Eraserhead from um okay my hero and um uh oh the from uh was it from it's I think fairy tale. It's the guy who like infiltrates the the when they're on the island or whatever. He 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 ended up in, infiltrating, pretending to be a member of fairy tale, and then he was really working for like the the council of whatever to investigate, and then uh, I kind of, uh, that, that's vaguely familiar. I kind of know who you're, you're talking about. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that guy, well, that's, a, I think that's an image from, like, yes. after the time jump, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. So, they got a pretty good, they got a guy who's, you know, good voice actor. Those two roles are pretty, he, he does a pretty good job with those two roles, at least. The others, I don't, can't, at least, um, from the little bit I've seen, I the one, the one who, not, who whose voice is who's gonna voice your. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name because I've only read it. I've not 
It's Y O R. I don't know how it's pronounced. Oh, yeah. How it's pr- pronounced yet. Um, she's not done a whole lot. I mean, sh- she's done stuff, but not a whole lot. And I don't think it's been a single thing I've seen. Other than Smite. But I don't think I know that character from Smite. And Anya, let's see, let's see what she does. It says attack. She it says she's on the, the one for yours. She did something on it. She's best known for Attack on Titan. Uh, I'm 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 kind of scrolling through her list. See what she was. Oh, she okay. Over she was an Overlord. All right. Um, I don't know what she did on Attack on Titan. I've not gotten. She was Sasha. Best character. Terrible death. I need to go back and watch Attack on Titan. I feel like I watched like the first two seasons of it. Like I think. But I just I remember bits and pieces. I just it's oh, just she the, the, she played. Oh, go ahead. Uh. La Brava, uh, the in my my my, my hero, uh, the chick with with the camcorder, um, um, she was in like two two episodes, like that like a oh it's like the the gentleman thief, like the end oh of like, that's like where I stopped watching yeah, like yeah like and like he had like like a little follower. With the the camcorder that posted, okay. that posted this, this that. stuff on yeah. YouTube, she plays the the little kid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm interested in this one though. You from when you, I remember you t- telling me about this, and then I looked it up, and I was gonna read the manga, but then I just never got around to it, and then. I, I so. didn't. Get, I didn't get far in the in the manga. Like this, this show will go far farther than I read. Because I think I only read like the first like maybe seven, eight chapters or issues. Like I didn't get far, but it it was one I really enjoyed. It's just kind of I got busy. Yeah, I I know that oh so well. Yeah. So yeah, so this is like the, uh, this is like one of the only like ones that Crunchyroll has like announced. All you know, they had made a big announcement of like, here's a bunch of animes coming out for you know that the, here's the lineup for dubs of spring 2022. But this is the only one that has like an actual like date because it's tomorrow. <laughs> Unless you were watching on Twitch, right? Which. It's- I, get, I don't know. Maybe I need to follow Crunchyroll on Twitch if I can watch stuff early. You know, <laughs> like I don't know. I, I feel like Twitch would knock him for copyright. I mean, but if it, if it's if it's them, like if it's theirs, Twitch got in trouble so. for it, its its own shit. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Was um, it Metallica? Like they they dubbed over a Metallica thing on Twitch on a Twitch event. Like two years ago. I mean, anytime. I mean, Metallica Online is a is a touchy subject because they've they hate to have their they or at least they used to hate to have any of their stuff online. It for was the a live time. Metallica show on Twitch, but then Twitch oh, dumped wow. over. Oh. Yeah. No. Then yeah. That's dumb. Like, That's dumb. Yeah. Twitch Twitch did their own shit like to their own. Sh- so like. Yeah. Also, like I, I know, I know people who have, or a, 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 I know a person who has a, like a broadcasting license for for music, still can't, uh, like like a radio broadcasting license, still can't do, do anything, do anything on on Twitch, or or, oh, you, wow. or YouTube, even though they have the right to, they won't, they, they won't. God, the animation looks gorgeous for this. It's I'm just watching it again. The the little trailer you have on it again. It looks good. 
it's, like, it's good. Yeah. I'm excited to watch the. I'm going to watch this tomorrow when it comes out. Yeah. So at least that's only like a week behind. Yeah. So that's not too bad. I'll take that over Dragon Ball Super being a year and a half behind. 100%. Uh, I, yeah, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. It was. It, it, you, you made you wonder, like, are they even going to dub it? I don't know. I, st- I still haven't really watched any of Super Dubbed. Like, I haven't either. Yeah. I haven't either. And I'm real curious, like... I need to go back and watch some of the stuff because I'm curious, like, you know, how they handle black or how they handle like uh, black Goku, you know. I've like, heard clips. Stuff, you know, just stuff like that. Like, you there's, know, I have no is, idea what Jiren's really, voice is. There's a really <laughs> famous clip with Trunks yelling, don't, don't, don't shoot him. He's not black. Oh, my God. Yeah, like wow. <laughs> somebody had to have thought that doesn't sound right, right? Like, there's no way they they could have like listened to that. And go, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I've done, yeah. I, I've heard that clip. I'm like, no way. That is so dumb. Right. What other stuff you got? Uh, I I take it you're out. I got one more, but I don't know. If, uh, you might have watched it. I don't know. Okay, well, um, I, I got I got one one more anime. Then it might be this uh, after that. Okay, yeah. Uh, the last one. Uh, only one episode uh, so far. Uh, the ske- skeleton knight in another world. Um. There is a warning on this one. Like, right off, like an actual like warning before the episode starts. You know, may, may, may contain graphic material that some people might find disturbing. Two seconds after that warning is off the screen. Young woman's clothes being ripped off and legs being forced apart. Like, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! Like, I did not expect that. No, n- neither did I. I thought you meant like, like, like violent graphic. Like, nope. Like, yeah, there's a warning on. Like, yeah. Like, oh no. <laughs> like, now, wow. granted, nothing actually happens after that because. Then the hero sh- shows up right behind him and literally just cuts them in half, blood and gore. So, still, it's like, um, yeah. Like, you, you could have put a little buffer between that warning and that scene. <laughs> right? Like, like at yeah. Least, at least Go- Goblin Slayer. There were a couple minutes between a scene like that and um, the beginning of the show. But yeah, to start off like that, like that's mm. yeah, that was, just, that was uh, was I was I was unprepared. But um, I don't know this one. It, it's an isekai. Uh, don't know much about it, like what he was before. It hasn't shown, but um, guy shows up. I, I think he thinks he's in a video in in a, in a certain video game. I'm not sure, um, but he's a skeleton, so he kind of hides his face from everybody because you know he's a skeleton and a monster. So I'm like, he doesn't want to get like run out of town, but like. <laughs> but he's also like super overpowered because as like I said like he, he, he 
shows up to those bit bandits. One swing cuts like four of them in half from like the waist down. Um, but uh, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot in this first episode. Like that was kind of like I don't remember much what happened after that scene. Um, because. <laughs> I don't, that just kind of, that just kind of sticks with you, that scene. Um, I do, I do, I, I was like, okay, he's, he's a skeleton kind of like in Overlord. So like in Overlord, you know, he, he played, he's, he's a lich. So like, you know, his, his emotions get suppressed. Well, not, not the, this guy. Nope. Um, also, uh, in Overlord. Dude doesn't ever eat or sleep. This dude eats. I don't know where the food is going, but he definitely eats and drinks and ha and tastes the food and can smell the food. Not sure how that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's. I, know, I, just, I just said he's in a video. He's in an MMO, so I just kind of, I just kind of visualize that his that all the food he's eating is like pooling in his boots. And he's just walking in his chewed food. Ugh. <laughs> Which is That's very gross. Very gross. Um, but yeah, like, only one only one episode, not all other than he shows up, he appears to be super OP. And that's about it. Okay, this also getting English dubbed for this season of anime so maybe that'll come out next week who knows maybe I don't know there's a lot of anime coming out this season that look I'm kind of like this looks good this looks like, good like, this looks like, interesting like, last, like the last season's anime like there was nothing really that appealed to me this season is like okay I want to see this one I want to see this one this one this one this one like there's a there's a it it made up for last for last last season. Um, as, but it also like well now I've got a fuck ton of anime I gotta watch now because I want to watch all this. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I I will you know I it's an easy, yeah this is a scene like this right here I'm showing. Right now, oh like, God! My yeah. goodness! But um, it's it's not too bad, but it seems no, like it's gonna get terrible. No, like, yeah, and like I said, it yeah. was this, this was shown in the trailer. It you doesn't you don't see anything, but like just the act, just the act itself is like yeah yeah yeah. Um, but I'll continue watching, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll report back uh, in, a, in, a, a, in a while after, you know, I've got more, more than one episode under my belt. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I have. Is um not anime. It's on Disney Plus. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Uh the for the first episode, I I it didn't grab grab me at all. But um I'm I'm getting to like it more the, the more I watch it. It's kind of a, like, what the heck is this? Like, yeah. Feeling, you know, it's halfway over now. You know, there's only six episodes, and which this, is the third just came out. Amazing. Cause I'm like, I still have like a thousand questions. Yeah. It's like, I'm not quite sh like, I guess it's kind of like mythical minority report. 
right? N- no, be- well, well, they're wanting to the like stop people before they. That. Yeah, the, that's the what I'm saying. The villain yeah. wants that, but um, and then M- Moon Knight and Conchu. Conchu. I was like Conto. Nope, that's not right. Conchu. Um, are trying to like stop them. What and, a way for the villain to be introduced to, like. Yeah, I was like, that was. I, I got a very like, um, and I I didn't even play it like I, Far Cry Five, like the cult in Far Cry Five, just from what I've seen, just kind of re- remind me of that, of uh, like mm. the cult that's in the show. I saw a TikTok of someone like make you make making fun of that where they put like Legos in their shoes and <laughs> they do their own like version of it. Yeah. Like that's why would you do that? that? Don't put that glass in your shoes. I heard someone say it's maybe it's so that like it makes him walk a certain way so he seems like he's like you know, walking with the the limp or whatever, or like to make to make him u- u- use that cane. Yeah, <laughs> you know, to like trick people, you know, because he's like, you know, he is basically the c- cult leader, you know. Not basically that that dude is a cult leader. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a full blown cult. Um, but I mean, the fact that it's halfway over. And we've gotten two personalities. Definitely, like okay, there's a third one, obviously. But well, he they teased it in the la- in the last episode. I don't know if they teased. I mean, there's a, there is a third. Well, I mean, well, st- well, well, well we know. St- Mark leaves, comes back, and like he's like attacking somewhere. He stabs someone or something. And yeah. Steven says it wasn't me. Right. Uh, I don't know if I call it kind of a teaser, but like a. There's a third. We just don't know what his name is or what his per- his personality oh, Jake is. Jake Lockley. That's that's uh, that's the third in the comics, anyways. We know this. I guess that uh, we we know we know, yeah. but we don't. But we don't know. And unless you're going through the other run where his personalities are Wolverine, Captain America, and Spider Man, that's literally a a Moon Knight run. Sure. Yeah. I mean, also, well. This is very different from from the comments because Steve Stephen is not oh, a yeah. bil- not a billionaire, um, a, a billionaire play playboy who who funds Moon, Moon Knight. Nope, that's that's not in this. So, so it is it definitely differs from the from the comics in that way at least. You have a, you have a, a confused look on your face. As I can no longer hear you. Did 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 your or is everything okay? Can, can I can't hear? Can you not hear me? Did your headphones die? Is that what happened? William is trying to figure out what is going on in his head, as it is not me in his ears. All right. Hey, can you hear me yet? You are... I can hear you now. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I guess my headset just decided to disconnect. Well, and then it was connected. And then you you said something, and I didn't, I, and I didn't hear hear that. Yeah, I don't know. It, it showed it was connected, but it wasn't connected, so I, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, just I just a lot of. Like, it's just, it's a weird show. Like, it's, it looks good. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, I like, I, I like the different outfits that, that, that Midnight has when, who's, depending on who's in, in, in control. I kind of don't, because I really like the Mr. Knight suit. 
but it's just a joke. I mean, yes, it is because 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 Stephen isn't he's not a fighter, so like why why would he ever be in control like that? So yeah, but that suit looks so good. <laughs> looks really I love good. that look. It, it's a yeah. good look. And I, I I love uh have you seen the meme from that like where he does the landing and then he, the next panel is he immediately tips over and falls? No. That, that that's a meme that, that that people are using for for stuff now which you know he does the superhero landing and then the right below it is a panel of him like where he just tipped over and fell like from the superhero landing. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, it's so we it's, it's, it's weird. Like, I'm not like, I, I kind of, I'm enjoying it, but I, 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 I feel like I wish I was enjoying it more. Maybe like when it, it all comes together, you know, yeah. like as a whole, you know, and I, I know they're, they're, they're doing this as a, you know, like uh, this one is a completely separate story, not tied in with anybody else. But I would like something that was like, okay, how does how how does this really tie into the MCU? Because so far there's nothing. Give us give us it end 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 of episode six. Give us the blade cameo. Blade and was it the Black Knight or Black Knight? Yeah, whoever Kit Harrington. Yeah, because like the, they they team up right Moon Knight. Blade I know and, very little about Moon Knight. I know, but before watching this, this is what I knew. Moon Knight was an insane Batman. With multiple per, per, yeah. per, personalities. That was what I, what I Not knew. as rich. <laughs> but still, but still a billionaire. No, millionaire. He was, he was never a billionaire. He was um, only ever a millionaire. I thought I read he At was, least, a, he was a billionaire. Unless they changed that, like, in the last couple years, as far as I can remember, he was. I, I remember he was just a millionaire. I could be wrong though. Uh, da, 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 da. See, yeah, it, it was Stephen who was the 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 rich one of all of them. Okay, he's mil millionaire. Uh, yeah. Steve, Stephen Grant and cab driver Jake Lock Lockley. Who's able to like, you know, he's a cab driver, so he's, you know, the man on the wise. street. It, yeah. So he's able to have connections and whatnot. Yeah, I know some about. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> there's a difference between millionaire and billionaire as far as like, if you're, you're right. trying to be a Batman type character, <laughs> you're right. You don't have that extra money to be wasting on gadgets as much like, like Bruce Wayne and Batman does. <laughs> you're right. And then again, in this, like a lot of his stuff is like magical. Like, I mean, his whole costume is magical. Yes. And I'm, you know, the, the, the crescent moon, moon orangs. That Whatever was, you want to call them. That was that was cool. Just like, just throw, yeah, throws them off the chest. But like, it makes more more sense than you know the um cellophane that Superman th throws off his chest. That makes it makes more oh, more, more sense than the, this show than it did. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, but that was like fifty years ago too. Like, <laughs> I don't know, how many so. how many chest th throwing things have you seen? Not many. Yeah, that's true. I don't know there might there might be someone in that new Bat Batman, which we'll know next week. Is well, that right? Well, the new well, well Batman himself has guns on his chest. Yeah, the original one did. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like in 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 this new Batman movie, like his chest is like is guns that are, look like the Bat logo, like. Oh, I, th I thought I, I thought it was a batter battering. I, I know it was guns. No, they're like handles of guns, or what, you know, like I don't know. I, that's what I was saying. I was like, "Well, we'll find find out like next week, right?" Is that, is that that's when it comes, comes out? Yep. Right? Next week. Yep. Can't wait. 
I know. The nineteenth, I think. Or yeah, the... that's that's the date in my my head. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that movie's three hours long though. So, so get a nice big bowl of popcorn, and got a plan. Got a got a plan out like when you're gonna watch it. Can't you, you know? When do I have three hours to sit and just do nothing but watch this movie? Yeah. That's part of the reason why, like, I didn't go see it in theaters was like, God, three hours, like. Well, <laughs> three hours. I'm going to have to pee during that time. I, I can't, I can't do that. That's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Because wh- when, you, when you go to the, to, to the movies, you get that big drink because you gotta. And by the end of the movie, you're going, okay, I'm good. I need to come on. Let's wrap this up. Come on. Come on. I got it. I got I'm going I'm going to burst. You don't you don't want to clean this up. You <laughs> come on. I'm going to burst. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And then Captain America says, "Avengers assemble." And you still have 30 something minutes left of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, fuck, I'm off to come see this again. Uh, yeah. I I hate that because like I'm not able to enjoy my snacks as much because I'm like, okay, I have to be very I I have to sip my soda very carefully and not right. like it's just oh. for for movies like that, I wish they'd bring back the intermission stuff. Intermission. Like let's all yeah. go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and have yourselves a pee. Exactly. Like, but yeah, Moon Knight, yeah, it's it's definitely weird. Like I'm not quite sure where like how is it how is it gonna progress now? Like I you know, I know. It was like okay. Yeah, yeah the last episode was like, <laughs> well this is a twist. Um Right? Like Usually this this thing happens in the sequel of a movie. Not in the first one, okay. Not in the, in the first run. We usually get it in a season two. So and it's like, oh, we've got we've got current Moon Knight and old Moon Knight and maybe future Moon Knight. His wife, like, yeah. It's like what? Like <laughs> how many Moon Knights are we going to see in this? Show? Like, <laughs> like that that whole relationship there. I was like. Okay, you two just need to sit down and have a nice long talk, and stop with this cryptic speaking to the audience. What, what is he talking about? The thing? What thing? What thing do I need to know? You don't. You don't need to know about the thing. We don't know about the thing. What the fuck are you talking about? And she knows about him being Moon Knight, but she doesn't have any idea that like he might have a personality issue like uh, she um, knows about the suit she and knows, the mythical well, like she she knows now yeah. but like, like yeah. okay <laughs> she knows about him being moon knight yeah why not why not tell her this is the reason why i'm still moon knight cuz i think she yeah. would absolutely be okay with him still being moon knight Oscar Isaac is great in this, though. By the way, he's like, he's really good at playing, and we've not seen the th- the, the third yet, but at two different parts, he's really good at it. Yeah, like I'm glad he's gotten he's he's in a good comic book role, um, and not the last one he was in. Ugh. The last one he was in, he was Apocalypse. I never saw it. Yeah. So um, I never saw it. You're lucky. That was the last one I saw was Age of Apocalypse or whatever. Like I refused to watch any other after that. The Phoenix oh, one and then the New Did Mutants. I, it? I it don't was the remember. same one where it might, Olivia. I'm, uh, Mun was Olivia Mun was Psylocke. 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 Yes. Yeah. And her, her and her dead eyes. Yes. 
Yeah, right? Like... <laughs> I did see it, but I blocked it out of my memory. As you should. Yes. <laughs> Nothing on earth can can convince me to watch those other two X Men movies, the Phoenix, whatever, and then the New Mutants. No, nope. I was gonna say we'll never what, watch what, those. What was a, a, a Phoenix, yeah, but what was the other one? New Mutants. Totally forgot that was a thing. <laughs> With Maisie Williams, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I even knew it. It happened until like a couple months ago. Well, well, it like it filmed rapping like right when the like like right before the acquisition. So it was in limbo for a while. Like when did it come out? I think last year. It was sometime during the pandemic. Twenty twenty. Two years ago, then yeah, or a year and a half, depending. I don't know. But August, yeah. so a year and a half. August, so yeah. But uh, Moon Knight's good. Um, I don't love it yet, but then again, I didn't. I, I didn't love Hawkeye either. Or Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I, I guess this is kind of on, on par with other Disney Plus shows. It's good, but I don't absolutely I, love it. I enjoyed the other two a bit more than I am at this point, just because like you knew what you were getting with those shows and like it was clear what was going on this uh -huh. it's still like we're halfway through and I still have no idea what's going on or yeah like yes that is that's is definitely are we going like... are are we going to get like a anti moon knight a la black panther versus black panther michael b jordan ver like are we going to get that at the end of it this where ethan They're hawk is like definitely anti moon knight or like how is this going to work like they're i definitely have no setting, idea. setting that that up but <laughs> it's also really really, really funny cuz watching watching moon knight and i i, I told you i'm also you know what just doing a, a background watch of stargate like oh hathor uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know Hathor. Uh-huh. I know Hathor. Um, I was like, okay, I I know that 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 one uh, that, that one's also in Stargate. Kanchu's not in Stargate. Uh, that one that one's not one I know. So Yeah. It's just it's yeah. It's interesting. I'm hoping like it this will be like a once like maybe the last three episodes will really like piece everything together and bring it all together and it's more of a like I don't know like because they they're kind of making these shows a lot of these shows they're kind of making like oh these are movies but just cut like really long movies cut into yeah. episodes yes like instead of like making them actual episodes you know or actual show like and is Miss Marvel after this it is. Okay, and that's probably after um, OP1, right? That's like two weeks after? Because like for, for like a month, they both are like same week, you know? They both, you know, they're both. Yeah, most, most Marvel's in June. Wow. Well, I mean, it, it, Obi-Wan's end of May, like, so... Yeah. I'm not that excited about Miss Marvel, to be honest. No. It really looks like a kid's show more than anything. I don't I don't know about that. I mean, and it's 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 like it's like the first to be rated PG as well, I think. 
I saw an article about oh, that. Oh, is it? Then, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> then they're not. That one. That one's going to be the first big flop of Di- Disney Plus. I can guarantee it. Well, I mean, like I said, it, it, if it's aimed towards kids, then maybe not. Like, it'll be the first big flop. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, TV, TV PG. It's the first, I think, Marvel property or MCU thing to be rated PG. So. Oh well. See, okay, yeah. Here's here here here's a comparison. The first two episodes of WandaVision were rated TV PG before the show transitioned into TV fourteen. That's different. Yeah, that makes sense though because yeah, those yes. were like, like you know, old, like Dick Van Dyke and yeah. like Bewitched. Bewitched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On that, purpose. Yeah. So. That made sense. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like, I'm, I'll, I'll watch Miss Marvel, it. but I'm not like, you know, I'm not excited, or I'm not, you know, I'm not excited as I have been these other ones, you know. And then after Miss Marvel is She Hulk. I don't even think we have a release date for what's next. We just know, like, I mean, we don't have a release date for when She Hulk is. We just know it's supposed to come out this year. Disney Plus release schedule 2022. That one I am super excited for, though. Oh, no. Oh, put everything down. It's Kardashians. What? The Kardashians. What about them? It's Disney Plus. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah I absolutely is, love yeah, this, Ta- Tatiana Maslani. This is all TV playing TBD stuff. Um, yeah, yeah She Hulk Andor, a Star Wars Andor TV series. Supposed to be this year. I know nothing. Secret Invasion is also this year. Mandalorian Season 3 is also supposed to be this year. Season 2 of What If, right? Not on this list. Pretty sure that was announced. Oh, the the 97X... X Men isn't until next year. Damn. Oh yeah. I mean, it was announced recently, right? Like, oh, uh, that's not till next year. Yeah, is this 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 has it at um? What if season two is under uh two thousand twenty three and beyond? Along hmm. with, I thought I saw something I am, recently. I am Groot, Ironheart. Forgot, I forgot that Ironheart was was happening. Is there gonna be a Percy Jackson series? Maybe I'll be. Uh, hopefully, it'll be better than the than the movies. Spider Man Freshman Year. What is? What is that? When was that like? What you're looking at? When was that posted? Uh, February. Okay, I'm looking at something that's saying "What if 
it's coming out this year, posted in March. So. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's an animated series. Yeah. There's a lot of content coming out, though. Yeah, the there's a lot year, of stuff. It's, so. it's, it's a long list. I mean, like I said, we're going to have a star, the first time we're having a Star Wars and a Marvel project overlapping. Like, that's going to be in June. So that's kind of crazy. Then we got Loki coming out next year, probably, right? Possibly. I think. I, possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how what, what happens with Doctor Strange. Yeah, and Doctor Strange is in two well, two weeks, yeah. Isn't two weeks? No. Well, but, uh, roughly two weeks. It's the beginning of May, right? Three weeks. Damn, guess, it is. Yeah. Ah, and you know what? Hmm, fuck, I need to order tickets. I just happened to take that day off. Didn't even realize it. I just like... Nice! Like, I, need, I need to fucking make <laughs> vacation. So I took the, the fifth and the sixth off. That's great. That's perfect timing, yeah. Uh, so is that it, or you got anything else? That it. Well, I, I, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, I guess you know we that we will wrap up. Um, this has been episode 448 of the Geeks for the Wind podcast. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Stuart's at Casual Terror, and I am at Will Play Games underscore. And we will catch you next time. And remember, no animals will harm from making this podcast.